uh, some women find that they have vaginal varicose veins. It's not something that's talked about very often, but what's the cause of them and can anything be done? It's a very common problem actually. There's about one in five of the ladies who come to see us with leg varicose veins have vaginal or vulval varicose veins and it can be, it can be terrible for them, especially if they're enlarged. The reason and the underlying cause is a thing called pelvic congestion syndrome, which most people don't seem to know about and doctors don't seem to diagnose. It's having varicose veins inside the pelvis, so of course in the woman you can't see it or diagnose it without a specialist ultrasound scan, called a transvaginal scan that we perform at the Wiley Clinic. The symptoms tend to be that, especially during the time of the, the, the month, so in other words during the period, you get a dragging feeling in the pelvis. Also, because the varicose veins push on things in the pelvis, it can cause an irritable bladder, it can cause an irritable bowel, and it can also cause discomfort on sexual intercourse, so basically pushing the structures in the pelvis. Now, before you have children, it usually doesn't communicate with the legs and doesn't communicate with the vagina. So it's just these symptoms, the pelvic congestion syndromes that ladies suffer from. It's often not diagnosed, so they go ahead and have children. During the vaginal delivery, the last few veins and valves in the vagina get dilated and broken down. And so after the pregnancy or even straight after the birth, you see these veins or the veins are felt in the vagina, in the vulva, and sometimes going down into the legs. It can easily be treated these days. The first thing is to perform a specialist transvaginal ultrasound scan, uh, which we perfected about nine years ago at the Whiteley Clinic, and then we can treat them simply by putting coils into the pelvic veins under, um, under x-ray control. It's the only thing we actually use sedation at all for. So it's local anaesthetic, and some ladies need a bit of sedation. The needle just goes into a neck under ultrasound control, so you know exactly where it is, and passes very fine little catheter down into the pelvic veins. The coils are then put there which dry up the veins, then anything uh, from the vulva downwards and into the legs we can treat with foam and sclerotherapy injections or laser or all the other techniques that we know to completely destroy the veins.